Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, this is going to be testing part 3. So I'm just going to go over the things that I've been testing. Also, I've added in a few new things. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so, Embassy. I still have not got a test on this. I haven't been able to get anybody to hit me while I'm reinforced. And when I do get reinforced, I usually jump and it messes it up. So I didn't get one on that. I did happen to get a test with the protection gems in, but I didn't get a test without it, so it's not too accurate. So I'm still working on that as of right now. So I can't really give you can't really tell you if that does any better with or without those gems in there. So I did manage to get a plus five back hit the other day and the wilds are still proven useful. They still are not dying and they still kill the whole march with ease. Also I've bumped up my troop count a little bit playing with a new setup which I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to go over that report that I got. And this was plus 5 back. It's 8 million March. And I'm assuming these were 250 boosts. I didn't ask. But I'm just going to assume they were. I did not boost at all. And that's how it turned out. They didn't do too bad. They did better than most that hit. Okay, so the new things that I've been going over, well, the new things that I've added in, I actually did this today. I dropped off all of my tier 4s. If you guys have went to one of the websites and you've seen the nerf ratio charts, the tier 4s are 13 to 1 now with the tier 2s 13 to 1 which means 13 million tier 2s for every tier 4 well you might have seen that siege is also 19 to 1 ratio which means 19 million tier 2s for every 1 million tier 4 siege and before now I thought that applied to tier 2 siege only but no it applies to regular troops as well so I've been testing that. I actually built it today and I'm actually not nerfed with a 19 to 1 ratio which allows me with this many tier 2's to save around 500 million power. If you add this up and do the math I'm about 500 million power less than I would be if I used the siege and I mean if I used the regular troops and 13 to 1 ratio. So this is a way to keep our power down and have a lot more troops. Hopefully it still reacts the same way during a hit. I'm pretty sure the tier 4s don't really play a part in killing the march or anything like that until they actually get through your tier 2s. So they're basically just extra power used to keep you from nerfing. So as long as these do not mess up the hits, I'll be keeping them, and I'll keep you guys updated on that as I get more hits. I haven't got a hit with this just yet, but hopefully I'll get one soon and be able to tell you if it changed at all. Okay, so another thing I've been testing, I will be running Frostlord's gear as bait gear this time, except... I will be gemming it for all March Speed debuff along with the two sickles which give 5% more March Speed debuff than the Frost Wielders. And then also I've got it skilled for March Speed debuff down here which gives me another 100%. Also, the set bonus in here gives you another, let's see, Stronghold March Speed debuff, 60% and 120%. And then, I don't think there's another one in here. Okay, so just that one Stronghold debuff. 
and then I've got my troop attack debuff just in case I get soloed along with the defense from the set bonus and it's got around 3200 percent defense I believe so hopefully that's going to be enough without the kunai to take a solo it depends what they hit me with there are cores that have well over 3000 percent defense debuff but hopefully I'll be able to switch or at least survive that hit if they do hit me with that but this is what I wanted to go over down here 327 percent stronghold march speed debuff and that will slow down their march massively also there is another 100 percent rally march speed debuff from the skill tree so a total of 427 percent march speed debuff so I'm hoping to get a test with this from a rally march with Pegasus gear on it doesn't have to be a real one be like one troop it doesn't really matter that won't affect the speed but as long as it's Pegasus I just want to see how slow I can actually get that march to go and hopefully this will help newer guys set up a preset and hopefully give them a lot more reaction time and that'll help them get more used to putting their boost on switching their gear jumping and all that and eventually they'll get faster at it and be able to do it a whole lot better so I'm going to test if this gear slows it down enough also I'm testing if this can actually hold up to a solo hopefully it can I think I've got enough troops to support that hit but if they do hit me with those cores that have well over 3000 percent defense debuff I th it'll probably zero my defense completely which I'm not sure how well that's going to go down but hopefully it goes well in the test so that is what I'm going over this week guys I might add a few more things later on if you guys have more ideas or something that you would like to see tested leave a comment or contact me in game and if it's a pretty good idea sounds like it'll work I'll probably do it if you guys would like to test something yourselves you just don't know what to test contact me I've got a couple things that you might want to try out if that's something you want to do just contact me on here line app whatever whatever you got and we'll see how it goes thanks for watching the video guys I will see you in the next one and keep you updated on those troops and everything thanks for watching